Hey folks, so today I wanted to do a real-time um, customization of a an interaction slide that is in the Articulate 360, Storyline 360 content library. Now the great thing about the content library is that you have all kinds of pre-made interactions that have all of the triggers programmed and everything that you need is there. So what I wanted to do today is show you that you don't have to take these as out, out of the box uh, interactions, you can still customize them. So this is the uh, tab slide that I'm going to be customizing. I'm just going to, uh, I've already inserted it, so I'm just going to exit the content library. This is what it looks like. We have all of our um, triggers programmed and when you click each tab, these are the layers that are triggered. So first things first, I wanted to format the background and I want to add a picture because that's something that I like doing. So we're just going to take this picture and I don't think I have to make the transparency too much. So I'm going to close that and then I think what I want to to do is to add a shape and I'm just going to add a rectangle here and then I'm going to format that. <clears throat> I think I want it to be this color gray. So what I'm going to do is to send this shape backward which will bring my text to the forefront. And I don't think I want to set any transparency. I like it like this, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now with each of these rectangles, they are all in groups. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up tab one, and then I'm going to change the color of the title to, hmm, Let's see, I think I want the title to be a darker gray. So I'm going to make that a darker gray and then I'm going to have the uh, tab information as a lighter gray with a black text. And then I'm going to do that for the next group. I'm going to have the darker gray on the top, and then I'm going to have the lighter gray on the bottom. And then I'm going to change the font color. And then I'm going to do that for this final group. So I'm going to select the darker gray, and then I'm going to select the lighter gray, and then I'm going to change my font color. And I think I'm going to drag the uh, text box over a little bit so that it fills up the box. And then what we're going to do is we're going to customize our tabs. Now I don't want there to be a graphic so I'm just going to delete the graphic and I'm going to move this these two, the text box and the shape up, and I'm going to have them as this even darker gray, almost black. And I'm going to do that with all of my tabs. Delete the image, move the text box and the shape up. Change the shape color and then I'm going to do that for the final one.
and that's just how easy it is to to customize a previous previously built out interaction from the content library in Articulate Storyline. And you know what? I think it's bothering me that uh, I've set the transparency so high. I think it'd be nice if there's more contrast. So I'm just going to bring that down to zero. And and then you know what you can also do if you want you can add an animation so that these are I want them to fade and I'm going to apply it to both so that uh, the text doesn't appear as abruptly and then when we preview this interaction You'll see that we've customized the previously purple interaction from the content library and have modernized it a little bit so that it, uh, oh no, we've got some hover states. Okay, so let's go back here and we're going to change our hover states. Um, you know what, I, think, I don't think I want any hover states. So I'm going to delete, delete my hover and selected states for both of those. And then I'm going to do the same. Now you can use the Format Painter to do this. Um, and there you have it. So now we've got our tab content customized. And I think what I would also like to do is just pull uh, this these tabs down a little further so that it's taking up uh, it's kind of centered in the screen real estate it's we've got quite a bit of space down here but I mean I just wanted to show you how easily you can customize a pre-made interaction from the content library 